Hey guys, we are back with some more San Jose Sharks franchise mode. And we are starting this one out with the trade. Year number nine to start out. And as you can see, we got Stayskull, who is a rookie goaltender we drafted in this past draft in the second round. 58th overall. And then we got Tanner Pearson, Braden Shen, and a third in here. Now, uh, I don't really want to give up Pearson or Shen. They're both very solid players. Great all around. But... The reason I'm giving them up right now is because we're going to be really tight for cap at the end of this season. Because if you look at our goaltender situation, or rather the contract situation of our goaltenders, we got one year left on Freddie Mahler. He's going to want a huge pay increase. He is a 92 overall. He's probably going to want like at least 11 mil. <laughs> so we really got to be able to make sure that we can sign him. So I'm making, I'm taking uh, measures beforehand so that we don't uh, run into that problem and uh, the solution to that is going to be we are going to be trading for Logan Brown he is only on an essentially a five million dollar contract for the next two years that is a definite uh, that's a solid mill we get in uh, in turn of Shen and we are also trading Pearson for this guy Morgan Wiseman he's 23 so we're getting younger here as well and he's pretty much on the same contract as Pearson uh, Wiseman will probably want a little bit of a raise since he's only getting better from here on out. And she uh, Pearson, <laughs> excuse me, is probably going to drop within the next year or so. Same thing with Shen. And uh, we've, I think with this trade, we'll have a nice mix of young players and veterans. And it'll just look nice. So if we take a look at our forwards here, we will say... We no including Shen or Pearson. We'll throw in Wiseman and Brown. So, Koliakovo, McLeod, Keller, Richie, Raquel, Couturier, Johnson, and then Logan, Brown, and uh, Morgan. What, 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 was his, what was his name? Morgan Wiseman, right. <laughs> I was about to say Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and then Lowry, Dano, and Nachushkin. So, I think we'll have a nice mix of players there. And uh, defensively, obviously, nothing's going to change. I want to give Barahowski a chance, as opposed to Cernak. And then maybe, uh, I don't know, I'd prefer to hold on to Cernak as, supposing, as opposed to trading him so that we have some playoff depth. But I would really like to give Barahowski a chance in this season. And then, of course, Mahler and Montembeau are playing. Now, the real part of this trade, I'm taking advantage of the fact that the Ottawa Senators don't really have a goaltender prospect, <laughs> or a goaltender in general. They have Mebus, who is 21-73 overall, and then they got Verlamov, who is 37 years of age at only 80 overall, so I think this is this this trade will work out great for both teams. You know, they have a lot of salary, we don't, and uh, they don't have a prospect goaltender that they can trust. So, I think this will work out great. Proposed trade rejected. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll add on a second instead of a third. Let's try that. Come on. Proposed trade. Not quite. Okay. We're quite far off, actually. Okay. So, <laughs> I uh, I wouldn't be opposed to adding our in our first. They don't want the first, but uh, I don't see why they wouldn't, to be honest. Proposed trade. Rejected. Really? Okay, we'll go a first and a second. <laughs> I mean, th this trade will be worth it. I think it will be because we're getting younger, right? We're saving salary for the most part. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just we, we need to get younger on, on depth. That's the main point of this trade along with, you know, the cap dump. Or not really a dump. I, I'd say this... You know, that's no more than one mil in a, in a cap dump. And then you got to resend Wiseman at the end of the season. But it's, a, it's you know, it's good enough. Proposed trade. Really? Uh, so we're close to fair value, but they don't want the salary of Braden Shen. Ah, okay. So that would work then, but they just they just don't want Shen. Rats. Okay, so he is, he is kind of overpaid. 
So, you know what? I will take out Shen and I'll take out Brown. Because Brown was supposed to be the physical replacement for Shen since Shen gets like near 200 hits a season. I was looking at his stats. I think it was around 180 last season. Let's check. Go into his hits. I mean, he gets a lot of penalty minutes. Let's see. Yeah, 186 hits. So Logan Brown, I believe, was around 150. So he was he would be the physical replacement. But now that uh, Shen is off the deal, uh, Logan Brown is as well. So obviously, I don't think uh, this is fair value here. We'll take out the first and second. Uh, and even this isn't really too fair. But they are giving up a young player. They're, they are in a hopeful stage. And I think, actually, Pearson would be able to help them as they have a lot of young players in Dahlman, in, uh, in McCarthy, in Haynes. So I think Pearson could help out those guys. And uh, let's see if we can get maybe a second out of this. Third or a second. Yeah, we'll try a second here. That should work. All right, let's go for it. So Stayskull and Pearson for Wiseman and a second. Rejected. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try third. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just go Wiseman straight up. So proposed trade and did not work. Okay. So Stayskull and Pearson for Wiseman. Proposed trade. There we go. Okay. That works out. <laughs> Man, that was a long time to spend uh, on a trade. So take out Pearson and insert Wiseman. I think that was a pretty good trade. We got younger. We're saving salary. Temporarily. Well, I mean, not really because, yeah, they technically have the same salary. I guess I was, I, I still had that in my head from when uh, we had Shen on the board because Shen had uh, 5.9 in salary. But uh, let's put Wiseman in there, substituting all lines. So that looks pretty, that looks pretty nice right there, I gotta say. And, uh, yep, defense looking the same. We'll take Cernak out. As I said, I want to give some time to Barahowski. Yep, put him in there, and that is looking good. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure the power play stuff is okay and good to go. Yep, looking good, looking good. Penalty kill, looking good, looking good. All right, everything in special teams is fine. Four on four. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's good, that's good, and that is good. Okay, and then scratched our Cernak and House. We are all set to start year number nine. <laughs> that was quite the intro to this video. And uh, let's just make sure that injuries are indeed off and auto-rotate goalies are on. And they the injuries are on, so it's a good thing I checked. And, uh, yep, switch that as well. So now let's get to the start of year number nine. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good one. That's all I got to say because we're running out of time here in San Jose. We really are Two years left So let's see the draft class for this year and of course is franchise player Kelvin Gliss <laughs> Guias Guias, I don't know how that's pronounced. I'm get that That's that's my best guess <laughs> He's a center playmaker franchise 17 years old right-handed got nothing on him in terms of information But uh, yet it appears the uh, WHL is the hotbed for prospects once again So we will obviously check out the WHL, but then we'll check out uh, Regions like the US Russia Sweden Finland and anything for You know see if we can get a steal in the later rounds because there's no way obviously we're going to be getting a franchise player at this point we already have a fantastic roster i believe in my opinion so yep whl forward six weeks and then we'll go defensemen and goaltenders and all that and then we'll you know go for the other regions so one more thing i wanted to do was get some free agents for the miners because the I feel like we've neglected the miners quite a bit <laughs> in uh, the past few seasons. Okay, so the first player for the miners we're going to be signing is Philip Krivisic. He's a 75, two-way forward, great defensively, great offensively for the miners. So we're going to sign him. 
And then the next player we're going to get is Boris Kaminsky, who I believe should be somewhere up here. He's a 76 overall. Kaminsky, Kaminsky. Where are you, buddy? There you are. So uh, let me just show you Kaminsky, actually. Fourth line forward, so... And he's got an offensive awareness of 90, so that's really nice. And then we got, on defense, Vladimir Glebov. There's Glebov, 72 overall, and he's got a 90 for offensive awareness. I'm Again, I'm going for those. Uh, the prospects who have... Or not prospects, just younger guys who have great uh, offensive and defensive awareness. So next we're going Tim Kidd, who is a 75 overall. So just give me one second as I go back up the list here. There he is. And he is a minor top four, 91 overall offensive awareness. Let's sign him. And then we're also going to sign a goaltender, Nick Schneider. I believe he's, yep, he's right there. I'll show you Schneider here. Pretty good. 28 years of age. And we are going to go into our prospect pool, actually, and sign a couple of players who we drafted. Unsigned, we are going to be signing Reginald Trotter. He's a low top six, 62 overall, 2A forward, left winger. So we'll sign him. And we will also sign Tuka Blomdahl, we just drafted this guy in the fifth round. He is the, a low elite potential, so we'll sign him as well. There you go. The AHL team should be all filled out once everyone from free agency signs. And then we will finally get this season underway. I'll do all the AHL lines off screen. So simulate up today. So Nick Schneider and Krivasek, Kid, Glebov. Kaminsky, I believe that is everyone. So I'm going to sort out the lines for the AHL real quick and I'll get right back here. All right, so here's the AHL lines. I just put Blomdahl on with Krivasik and Kaminsky. And uh, here's the defense and here's the goaltending. That's really about all you need to know for the minors. There's not too many uh, gems down here besides Jordan Yoshida. He is a prospect of ours, obviously, who we're hoping. Turns out to be good. He's only 19 years of age, so he's on the second line with Marchment and Balsers. But again, not too much to see here. So we'll get back to NHL action, and we'll see <laughs> if the Year 9 San Jose Sharks can make it back to the playoffs. I would hope so. And uh, we're just going to sim right through preseason. Again, not even going to check the stats this time. We're just going to go right through it. Because... It's only preseason. No need to check the stats unless there's like a huge blowout game, which obviously we've won every game so far, but I don't think it's necessary. All right, fair enough. A five, nothing blowout game against Edmonton, but we are, I'm going to stick to my word. We are going to sim up to November 1st. So let's get this thing on the road. Two to one victory to start out the season against LA. Not bad. And a 2-1 victory against Buffalo. Awesome. And we're getting a lot of one-goal games here. Especially overtime wins. And there's our first non-one-goal game against Montreal. And then, oof, rough, rough first loss of the season against New Jersey. 7 to nothing. That was brutal. <laughs> that was absolutely brutal. Uh, so there's a one-goal loss right there against the Rangers. So... As long as we can keep those losses down, obviously we'll be in a good spot, but I would prefer not to see too many of those losses like we just saw against New Jersey. That's not a good sign of things to come, but we are 7-4 and four to start out the season, so that's not bad. Uh, I don't really feel like checking the stats, so we'll just go another month here. It's too early to tell anything at this point. And uh, there is a 5-2 to two loss against Anaheim. That is not ideal, but... Uh, as long as, again, we keep those kinds of losses to a minimum and losses in general to a minimum, <laughs> I'll be fine. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep rolling here through November. There you go. Nice nice way to respond to that game against Anaheim. 2 nothing loss against Arizona, but we answer back with a win. And, of course, 
We're getting in that pattern again now, aren't we? <laughs> Please don't get in this pattern. Florida, there, okay, there you go, there you go. <laughs> all right, all right. It was a one goal loss right there against Tampa, but still a lot of goals scored against. So not exactly what I like to see, but we are in a good position, 16 and 8. So uh, let's scout the WHL for goaltenders for six weeks, and then we'll go uh, elsewhere. As I believe we've had enough of the WHL. So Kirk Koliakovo showing up <laughs> as usual this season so far. 22 points on the season and getting those assists. Only four goals as uh, he has proven to be more of an assist kind of guy <laughs> in this entire GM mode than the goal scorer who we thought he was going to be. And uh, Nick Ritchie with 13 goals. He's looking like he's on pace for a 40 goal season. Uh, 20 points, McAvoy was 16, Keller was 16, that was a nice free agency pickup so far, Darren McLeod was 16, uh, Tyler Johnson with 12, Couturier with 11, Raquel with 10, uh, Shen with 9, Lowry with 8, Wiseman with 8, how many hits has Wiseman had so far? Interested to see, uh, only 10, okay, so he's not much of a hitting power forward, he's more of an offensive kind of guy, okay, Hannafin with 8, Nichushkin with 8, uh, not not bad of a start for Yuri Nachushkin on the fourth line as a rookie. <laughs> no goals yet. Anthony Vernarski with five, Fowler with five, Deneau with four, and Barahowski <laughs> with zero. But he's a plus five, so uh, props to him right there. And then uh, Serge Plus also with zero, but he's plus four. So that's good. Good to see. How many blocks do they have? So, uh, Plus has 38 blocks, and uh, Barahowski has 19, and then he has 31 hits, Plus with 28. So, they're doing their jobs there on defense. Cannot complain. Oh, you know what? I forgot to uh, <laughs> check out the goaltender stats. Why did I back out? Let's see how our guy, Freddie Muller, is doing. Could he repeat his performance from last season. Let's see. And it looks like he is so far 929 save percentage. He's getting it done. 213 goals against average. Three shutouts on the season so far. He, I hope you can keep that up, boy. <laughs> You're you are going to be the sole thing that gets us in the playoffs, I have a feeling. And the first line, of course. So let's take a look at the team stats. See how we're doing there. Power play, penalty kill, all that stuff. Uh, goals for, we are sitting in fifth in the division, 2.71, so that's not too bad. Uh, goals against per game, we are sitting second in the division, 2.21, so that's awesome. Power play needs a little, more, little bit of work. We are last in the division, 13.7, that's brutal. Got to change that up a little bit. Uh, penalty kill, not too bad, 80.6, could be better though. And uh, yeah. I mean, I can't complain because we've been winning, but I kind of, especially about the power play, I kind of want to change something. So let's see. Richie, McLeod, Koliakovo, McAvoy, Johnson, and then Keller, Raquel, Koliakovo, Hannafin, and Fowler. Uh, I'm going to, let's see, what's Johnson doing? 10 points, or uh, 12 points, excuse me. I am very tired today. <laughs> Uh, Fowler with five points. Hannafin only has eight. Uh, do I want to double shift McAvoy? That might be a good idea in a way. Uh, let's see. What other options do I have on the point? We got Fowler, Hannafin, McAvoy. And then there's Plus, Vernarski, and Barahowski. Nah. Nah, I don't want to put Plus or Berhowski on the power play, and Vernarski wasn't too good when he was on the power play either, so I think I'll just leave Hannif in there. Or I could double shift McAvoy. We'll, tr we'll try it if it comes down to it, but I would prefer not to do that. We're already double shifting Koliakvo as it is. I think I'm going to switch Fowler up here. No, not up here. Up there, where Johnson is. So we'll have two defensemen on this power play, and Johnson right here. With Keller, Raquel, and Cole Uh I'll leave that as it is. Then penalty kill. What can we do here? Uh, I think I will put... We'll try Hannafin and McAvoy right there. Just to get something going. I don't know. Because this 
this pep this penalty kill unit i should say i was about to say power play uh this penalty kill unit was very effective last year so i want to you know kind of keep these guys together we'll just mix and match them a little bit uh there you go we'll do the same thing there and that is all the changes i'm going to make for right now we'll go one more month just to see how things go we are second in the division though uh, we'll see if those changes do any good. If if not, then uh, we will go back to the way it was. But, uh, you know, kind of don't want to go on any extended losing streaks here. So, kind of had to change something. The power play was kind of bad. And the penalty kill wasn't great. It didn't impress me. So, can't hurt. At least I hope it can't. <laughs> right now, it looks like we're losing more than we're winning. Uh, let's see what's uh, our stretch over the past six games. I believe that is three and three. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, uh, go five more games with this setup. We'll see how it goes. Edmonton. That's gonna be a three to two loss. Oh, come on, boys. Three one win. Two to one loss. Oh man. Calgary is a three to two loss. Oh goodness. Okay. Something's not clicking. Something is not clicking. <laughs> Maybe it's that we traded Pearson. Who knows? Okay, let's see what's going wrong here. So it's obviously not the first line. Koyakovo is doing fine. I think he needs to score more goals is what it is. He's only got six goals. Let's uh, let's take a look here. Goal scoring wise, Nick Ritchie with 19. He is on pace for an awesome season. McAvoy with 12. Keller with 10. So... Uh, what, what's, what's the problem here? I don't know. Uh, let's check plus minus. I mean, it doesn't look like anyone's failing too bad. The lowest minus is Wiseman with minus four. Uh, it might be the power play of the penalty kill, but let's take goaltenders first. Yeah, Mahler's doing his job. I think it, it could pro could probably be the penalty kill at this point because mm, they weren't doing too bad but i kind of wanted to try to spark them let's see how the power play is doing the power play is doing better that's good news so the it's probably the penalty kill uh, i mean the penalty the penalty kill i think that's the same if not a little better so i don't know what's going on maybe we're just getting unlucky maybe we're not scoring enough depth wise so you know maybe we'll change up a little bit five on five Actually, what was the... <laughs> why did I back out? What what was the goals for per game looking like? Uh, we have a 2.63, so we're definitely not scoring as much as we did before. Our first two lines, I think, are getting it done. There's not much I can change around, honestly, on the bottom two lines. But maybe we... Uh, what's, how's Do how's uh, Tyler Johnson doing 19 points on the season so far? He's doing just fine. So, uh, maybe uh, Raquel, 17, Keller, 22, how's Wiseman doing, 9, 13, and then Shen has 10. Uh, what? Hmm. Yeah, there's not much I can do. <laughs> maybe Raquel to the third line? I don't know. What do we do here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Raquel is a minus three. Maybe we'll put Couturier up there just to shake something up, see if we can get something going. I prefer not to do that, but again, got to shake something up. See how that uh, how that affects things. I swear to God, if things go south from here. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, let's go another two weeks. See how the team responds to those changes. And, of course, we start off with a three to two loss. Oh dear. <laughs> a three game losing streak to start it out. Come on, respond to that. Uh, that, that was not good. <laughs> Arizona, can that be a win, please? All right, there you go. There you go. Uh, scout an assignment. We will go to America for fours for three weeks. We'll go another two weeks here. See how. Uh, See what we can get done. All right, there we go. There we go. The lines are starting to click. There you go. Ah, broken up by Anaheim. But uh, we can't, of course, come back. 
Oh man, we're turning into that streaky team again, aren't we? <laughs> 26, 20, and 1. Oh uh, dear, we were in a much better position earlier this season. Where are we in the playoff race? We are in a wild card position. Ooh, this division is tight. <laughs> From 1st to 7th is 6 points. So we need to start winning games. Yeah, we need to start winning games badly. Let's see where our problems are. Oh dear. Okay. Might be ending this one off uh, right after this. Right after we check the stats out. So, we have an elite goal scorer for sure, Nick Ritchie. But I think uh, as a matter of other guys are not producing. Like, uh, I would maybe expect Keller to be getting a little more done for $9.1 million. <laughs> uh, Johnson, I mean, he's doing all right for a second liner. Uh... McLeod, he's doing good. McAvoy, he's doing all right. <sighs> what is going on with this team? <laughs> I think it's I think it's uh, depth scoring. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely definitely depth scoring. I mean, literally half our roster at this point of the season has less than twenty points. So, I'm uh, not sure what to make of that. We'll take a look at the hits. See if we're playing physical or not. I I mean. Yeah, it looks like we are. Yeah, we definitely are. Only Natushkin has nine, then Fowler with 18, and then everyone else is chipping in physically. I think we're solid physically. We're getting the blocks. Uh, are we good on faceoffs? Could that be it? Yeah, we're good on faceoffs. Couturier, McLeod, Deneau, they're all over 50%. Raquel's at 51.4, so all of our natural centers are getting over 50%. Percent on faceoffs, so we're definitely a good possession team. As a result, uh, I think it's just shooting percentage we're just sucking at. <laughs> I mean, if we take a look at forwards and then shooting percentage, only five of them have a shooting percentage over 10, and then only four are over 12, and then only two <laughs> or 14 are over. So maybe we look into guys with a more accurate shot, not guys who are shooting the puck per se a lot, but guys who have a really accurate shot. Man, I don't know what to do about this team. It's so inconsistent. Last year was awesome, but this year, not so much. Maybe, uh, maybe trading Pearson wasn't the right idea. <laughs> who knows? Let's take a look at goaltenders. Just make sure Mahler's doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job. I can't blame him. There's no way I can blame him. Maybe defensively. I mean, even defensively, we're all right. Plus and Barahowski, they're only minus two, minus one. And then Fowler's plus eight. Hannafin's plus nine. Vernarski's plus 12. And McAvoy's plus 13. So I don't think there's any problem there. Let's see. Fours. Again, there's no one who's really... A massive minus on our team. I mean, Wiseman, I'd like to see him doing a little bit more. So maybe, again, <laughs> trading Pearson was the wrong idea. But we'll just see how that plays out for us. I don't know what to make of this team. I really don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe do some line changes. Maybe a trade. I don't know. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking about maybe the strategies have something to do with this. All right, so we're t four check is two and three, and then neutral zone is one, two, two, red. Okay. Uh, this all looks good. For line one, maybe we'll tell them to shoot a little more. And then don't block. Maybe efficiency so they can be out there longer. I don't know. Let me know. What should we do in terms of strategies if that has anything to do with how the computers play? It will set these guys to the same thing. And then line three. They Line three, honestly, could play overload. They're talented enough to do that. And uh, I yeah, will do that. They can carry it. But the fourth line can crash the net. They don't necessarily have to dump it in that often. Okay, you guys got to let me know what we should do because this team's all over the place once again. 
<laughs> so, and we are once again in a very tight race. So let me know what we should do, and I'll see you guys in the next one.